Hey guys, JC here, playing The Park. I picked this game on the Steam Halloween sale, and we're gonna check it out. Let's see, new game. The Park is a narrative experience, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be cause for any... I don't know, something. Okay, so it's a scary game. Which suits me, because I'm playing it in the dark, with headphones on. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Okay. So... We got a kid over here. Carl, from The Walking Dead. Do I have a reflection? I don't know. Can I crouch? Can I run? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. We appear to be on the road to Silent Hill or something like that. It's a parking lot. Oh, I can see my body. That's good. We're walking. See this truck here. Anyone around? I don't seem to have a reflection, which is weird. Okay, so this thing is a narrative experience. Mm. Everything here seems pretty standard. I heard a crow. Yeah, I heard you, man. I heard you. Shut up. Okay, so we got some water. Apparently, it rained. There's something over there. Some sort of pipe? That's weird. Okay, Carl, you stay in the car. And what is this? Oh, that's, that's just a roof for the entrance. An escalator or something like that. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Okay. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Press the mouse button to interact with objects in the world. Atlantic Island Park. Okay, pro tip. Do not stay in parks after they close. Because that's just a recipe for horror movies or horror games. Atlantis Island Park, Park 1, Park 3, Park 2, these two are uh, out of order, and Park 4, can I leave? Okay, sorry Carl, but I want to see if I can leave, because this is not going to end well. Oh, apparently I can leave. You see, Silent Hill is that way, you can tell because of the fog. And, and the ash that's, that's falling. Can't, can't really see. No. I have things I need to do in the park. Okay, we unlock an achievement. The mist. No! I have things I need to do in the park. Okay, okay. Trying to go back, but the freaking mist is not. Ugh. Okay, good. Okay, so we're not going to Silent Hill right now, and we got an achievement for that, which is needless to say weird. Okay. 
I hear traffic over there. That's weird. Okay, so Atlantic Island Park. No, no other cars besides that one. This is a form of park, and there, there's a stone here, some sort of rock. Let's see. This rock says. Oh, we need to examine Calum this. Calum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Infect. Hmm. 1977. Okay. Okay, so how do I I already examined the plaque. Okay, how do I come on? Ugh. I seem to be stuck. Continue. Come on. Good. We got a bug over there. Stupid rock. Okay, these things are creeping me out. Oh, there's someone over there. What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Mm. Okay, so her name is Lorraine. What was the name of the of Rick Rick's wife in The Walking Dead? Lori? Mm. Weird, huh? And the son is Carl and apparently has exactly the same amount of good judgment as Carl because he ran inside a closed park. Oh, it's Callum, not not Carl. Wait, come on, I need to do this. Welcome to the park. We got another achievement. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Come on, this way. Callum, where are you going? Over here. Yeah, okay. I I, I get some clues by it. Welcome to the park. We got the chipmunk. We got places to eat, places to sleep. Okay. Callum, where are you going? Over here! Okay. Callum, I told you to wait in the car! This way, Mommy! Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Mm. You know we got some technical issues with this light here. Silent Hill. Yep. Oh God. The park. What happened here? Mm. Callum, stay where you are. Press shift to toggle run. Oh, finally we can run. That's good. Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't have a flashlight. Okay, we got a map here. It's easy to get lost here. Mm, no, we got the entrance, and it's basically the House of Horror Horrors, Tunnel of Tales, the Roller Coaster, the Bumper Cars, the Octotron, and the Ferris Wheel. So, basically, we got things that way and that way, and it goes around in a circle, you see? It does that. 
Wait, Callum. Can I get inside here? Is really. You can't catch me. Oh crap! Wait for mommy. Okay. Wait. Wait. What the? Okay, where's Come the kid? Come to mommy, Callum. He's running. Okay, we got bats coming from this. Callum. Catch me, mommy. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Well, I'm not Carrie. Callum! Over here! I'm coming. Where are you? Don't hide from me, Callum! This way! <sighs> Stupid kid. You're gonna get an ass whooping, kid. Wait for mommy. Come on, mommy. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Uh. You think? Okay, good. We got a shoe. Hello. Over here. What is this? Five Nights at Freddy. Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the Chipmunk. Worst in class, Chad can even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beating every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will dive a useless love. Chad the chipmunk. Come out, sweetie. Come on this way. Okay, there's something here. Handwritten What's note. This? Uh, lawyers had arranged everything in advance, purchased the land in Solomon Island for a pittance. I dismissed him shortly afterwards. Uh, don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winder, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. The land remembers. So, okay, apparently this place where they built the park. It's cursed. Callum, where'd you go? Catch me, mommy. Can I open this? No. Am I dressed differently? I don't know. Okay, I guess we need to take this right, right? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Callum, stay where you are. You see, we are here in the tunnel on, of mommy. tails. Come on, you dumbass kid. Okay, I guess we, we do this then. We ride the swan. Where are you? Okay. We're gonna go inside this thing. Where are you? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. He's not responding anymore. Okay, if someone jumps at me, I'm gonna Near slap the them. Near the great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel, and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor, and had very little to bite or sup. Okay, so no supping. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, 
I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. at my house. An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Damn. Once inside the house, the old woman what the hell? She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. 
Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Hmm. That's not exactly how I remember that story, but I don't know. It's pretty messed up, you know? What the... Can I leave now the messed up right? Okay, screw you. Okay, we got an achievement. Swan's gingerbread and chocolate. Now we go this way. Callum, stay where you are! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Mm, okay, if you say so. Callum, where are you? Catch me, mommy. Stupid kid. Okay, we're done with this. So uh, now we can go. To the Octotron. If we go this way. Where are you? What the follow the trail? Again with the weird noises. Callum? Hey, answer me. Hello? <laughs> oh, heard something. What is this weird cave here? It's not a cave, it's just a rock. Come to mommy, Callum! Another accident. This place. Hmm. Okay, enough with the weird vibrations. Open door. Despite the constant interruption to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. Um, okay. I'm not truly really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. Okay. I will not make his mistakes. I will know of this. This has been all for nothing. And we got a teddy bear with a knife to, the, to one of his eyes, you know. Over there. Some blood over there. Callum, where did you go? <laughs> what? Okay, we should be coming on the octo. What the? Hey, I'm walking here. Jagasses. What? Come out, sweetie. Okay, we got weird noises and the weird trees, 
weird rocks. There's the Octotron. Okay, what do we have here? Octotron. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Yeah, you're pretty happy considering you're running around in the middle of the night in some sort of abandoned park or something like that, and your son is missing. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Eyewitness report Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff F. Bannerman. Creed Norma and she signed this. We were waiting for a turn on the right. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit, uh, chipmunk suit is making us uh, a nice carving while people took photographs. Okay. He was carving and picking away at the eyes. And we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or lion. Uh, it was a human face. And the teenagers woke up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then he went berserk. And it was chaos. He was stab stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying. People were screaming. Yeah, the guy in the chipmunk suit went bananas, killed people. That's why whenever I saw I see one of those guys in one of those suits. I just, I run away because those, those things are creepy. Those are like, like, clown level creepy. Stop, Callum! What? Where is this guy? Okay, the Ferris wheel is over there. Let's Wait, see. Callum. Okay, we got something here. A Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Me and Callum, and we got an achievement called Family Ties. I, I'm not sure about this face, you know? Mommy needs to see you, Callum! That's weird. Okay, let's see the chipmunk. Callum, where did you go? Decrease speed, decrease speed. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. Isn't there a stop button for this thing? Come on. Slower. Okay, stop. Where did you go? Okay, we're gonna ride the Octatron. Getting dizzy. Okay, easy. Stop, stop. Okay, that's weird. some sort of mad hatter Callum where did you go what happens if I incre increase the speed come on faster faster mass go faster come on all the way go fast go fast we're getting to the maximum. Something weird on the radio. Come back, Callum. 
Okay. I guess we go this way then. We're gonna leave this just spinning. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all.